Hi, today I'm going to show you how I do the elongated stitch section of this scarf. As you can see, there's very long V's that are in between the rows of the garter stitches. So I'm going to show you how to do that. I'm working on a Cindy Wood loom using 14 pegs. I'm doing a slip stitch edge to try to create to create a nice braided edge border. Um, with a slip stitch edge, you don't work the first pig in the row. So I just did a row of garter stitches where I did a row of knit, followed by a row of purl, slip stitching the edges, the last, uh, the first pig in the row, which means you don't work these. Now I'm going to start on the second portion of this scarf, which is the elongated knit stitch followed by the drop stitch. To do this, we're taking our working yarn and we are wrapping the pig number two three times and we're going to actually do that to every peg in the row wrapping it once, twice, three times. After I do a couple I like to then what I do is I bring the bottom loop that's on the loom up over the top three And I just sort of push them down, and then I continue on, e-wrapping each peg three times, and bringing the bottom loop over the top three. For the scarf I'm using 14 pegs like I said, you can use more or less depending on how wide you want to make your scarf. I'm using one strand of worsted weight yarn. This is Knit Picks Yarn Chroma in the color Pegasus, Knit Picks Chroma Wasted. Now the last stitch I'm not going to wrap three times. So I've come now to the last four pegs. I've wrapped them three times. I'm bringing the bottom over the top. The last stitch I'm going to do a half stitch or a U wrap. And all I'm doing is taking the working yarn and bringing it from behind to the front of the loom. And then I'm knitting over the bottom peg. And I just sort of pull down to help tighten that one up. And that leaves us ready to begin our next row, which is going to be the drop stitches. So to do the drop stitch row, we're going to drop, drop the stitches and then purl. We're going to take the top loops off. So there's just this one big loop now. And then we're going to purl that. And then after we're done purling, you can just pull down a little bit and you can see that there's a nice V created. So we do that and repeat that for every peg in the row except for the last peg. We're not going to do that too because there's only one stitch on. And then just sort of pull down. It can get a little messy to work with when it's this. <laughs> you just want to make sure the new loop that you've created from the purl is the one that's onto the peg. And I prefer to work my loom like this when I'm doing the purl stitches. It's just easier for me. 
So I'll show you how I do it that way. I'm removing the top two. Oops. And then purling. Making one loop. Oops. On the pig. Pulling down. And you can see those bees are nice elongated stitches are being created. Then you just continue taking the top loops off and purling the stitch, leaving the new loop on and sort of just tugging down as you go to secure the stitches. Again, we're removing, we're almost back to the start, or at the end of the row, start of the first row, this is the first pig that we wrapped three times. Tug down to secure the stitches. And then the last pig in the row, we're going to e wrap, knit over, and now we're beginning, we're ready to start our garter row, which I showed in another video. But I'll start it here, and all we're doing is we're skipping the first pig, and then we're going to e wrap the pig for the rest of the row. Knitting over, when you come to the last pig on the row, you're going to do a U-wrap or half stitch again, and you're going to skip the first pig and you're going to purl all the way back, and the last pig in the row you're not going to purl, you're going to e-wrap and knit over, and then you're going to do the drop stitch sequence again. And then you just keep repeating that drop stitch sequence and the garter row sequence over and over. And you'll have a nice scarf that looks like this, which has the nice edges from using the slip stitch and nice elongated drop knit stitches. Um, finish off you can either do a row of garter and then do a bind off. A uh, super stretchy bind off would match the cast down row. Here I did a just an e-wrap. Or you can bring and make it an infinity scarf by bringing the scarf back onto the loom, kneading off and doing a basic bind off, which I will show you how to do 
that when I get to that process in my scarf I want to make it a little bit longer yet so I'm gonna hold off and work on a couple rows and then hopefully I will or then I will video how I bring the scarf up to the loom to knit over and create an infinity scarf. So that is how you do the row of elongated knit and drop stitch sections of the scarf. Hope that's helpful. Thanks. Have a great day.